Lee Dong Wook isn't who you think he is. Addictions, hair superstitions, a health complication that turns his lips extra red. These are 10 things you didn't know about Lee Dong Wook. And first up, the time he spent $10,000 just to watch an ice hockey game. Like regular folks, every celebrity has that favorite sport they run to for relaxation. And for Dong Wook, it's all about that easy allure of ice hockey. Playing with Fiense in local tournaments, he's not just a spectator. He's quite good on the frozen stage. Hold your applause, because this celeb took his passion to another level, becoming the honorary ambassador for the 2018 Pyeongchang Paralympics. The benevolent actor took his love for the game a step further by extending an exclusive invite to 1,000 of his fans. And what was the occasion? It was to witness the chilling showdown between the Czech Republic and Japan. The 42-year-old veteran tossed a cool $10,000 on tickets so that everybody could have a seat. Being a multimillionaire superstar means Lee Dong Wook can afford to satisfy his various indulgences. But there was a time when the veteran actor couldn't even afford one of his favorite things in the world, a comic book. On an episode of the show Taxi, Lee Dong Wook revealed another part of him that shows he's not just your typical K-drama heartthrob, but in fact, a legit comic book fan. The actor has got a jaw-dropping collection of over 200 comics. His love for comics started back in the day, when he was still a broke kiddo, when he couldn't afford comics as much as he wanted. But fast forward to adulthood, and he's turned into the ultimate comic book kingpin, buying whatever his heart desires. The best part is his love for comics extends beyond the pages of the book. The dude's got dreams, big ones. He wants to be the boss behind the camera as a film director. And get this, those comics he hoards? They're not just for fun, they're his secret weapon for directorial studies. He's convinced they're like the coolest storyboards ever. While we can't tell when it'll happen, it's safe to assume that it's only a matter of time before Dong Wook turns his childhood comic dreams into an epic blockbuster. Now, most famous people tend to have fascinating stories about the events that preceded coming into the world. These narratives often provide insights into the influences and experiences that shaped their later achievements and contributed to their unique life paths. In a live broadcast, Lee Dong Wook dropped a mind-boggling bombshell about his entry into the world. According to the actor, his mom had a conception dream, and it wasn't your average night's sleep. Nope, she dreamt of a colossal pig charging at her. Now, before you raise an eyebrow, it's not as bizarre as it seems. Pigs, as it turns out, represent luck and prosperity in some cultures. So in Lee Dong Wook's origin story, his mom might have unknowingly tapped into some piggy-powered prediction magic. Who needs storks when you have dreamland pig messengers predicting the arrival of a future K-drama superstar? And when this superstar isn't hogging the spotlight, he is bonding with his favorite people in the industry. Actors forge friendships post-production by turning backstage shenanigans into lifelong connections. And while it's been seven years since they acted in Goblin, Lee Dong Wook and Gong Yu have remained best friends since then. Gong Yu, who is known for snubbing TV gigs not related to his projects, surprisingly honored his word by gracing Dong Wook's talk show. They even jetted off to Jeju Island for Dong Wook's birthday. Gong Yu, who got caught up in the whole excitement, forgot they were on camera as he was pictured having so much fun. Gong Yu also revealed another side to his bestie that we didn't know about. Despite Lee Dong Wook's smooth vibe, he is secretly all about sending cute texts with tons of heart emojis. And get this, Gong Yu calls Dong Wook Kibi, and Dong Wook calls him Dong Sung, blending his name with the Korean Grim Reaper title. Having come a long way gracing the screen for decades, Lee Dong Wook has done well enough to explore other arenas outside his comfort zone, like that time he took the Olympic gig. The dashing thespian got handpicked to promote the 2018 Winter Olympics Games alongside heavyweights like Lee Min Ho and Kim Woo Bin. The actor later opened up on how the experience was a trip down memory lane to his childhood, reminiscing about the Seoul Summer Games that left a mark on him. The actor told the Korean Herald in 2018, I'll do my best to attract the eyes of global fans to Pyeongchang and help them participate in the games. Lee Dong Wook didn't just talk the talk. Nope, he walked the walk by snagging 1,000 tickets for the Paralympics Games, where he even rocked the star-studded torch relay. 2018 was a great year for Lee Dong Wook. He wasn't just holding it down in the TV and sports universe. He also took his awesomeness to the fashion industry. With his flawless skin and chiseled features, it's no wonder he became the face of Chanel's groundbreaking makeup line for men, Boy de Chanel. Launched in 2018 in South Korea, Dong Wook held the prestigious title of being the first global ambassador for this revolutionary line. 
Is there nothing this man can't slay in? He is practically the showbiz chameleon, slaying roles on television dramas, ruling the movie scene, and even stealing the spotlight as the charming host of award ceremonies and variety shows. He has also built a solid reputation as an MC. He has hosted the ultimate boy group survival show, Produce 101. Oh, and did we mention he has his talk show, Wook Talk, also known as Because I Want to Talk? It's a talk show extravaganza with special guests like the one and only Gong Yu and the K-pop sensation Bao Wei. Now, let's talk about Dong Wook's forever red lips, the subject of endless fan fascination. In the hit drama Goblin, viewers were left in awe at how those lips stayed cherry red. Some speculated it was the magic of lip tint, but Dong Wook set the record straight. Surprise, surprise, those luscious red lips have been his trademark since childhood. Curiosity didn't stop there. Dong Wook visited an oriental doctor to unravel the mystery behind his naturally vibrant lips. And shockingly, it's not a secret lip potion. It's simply because he's got a surplus of body heat. So, while the world marvels at his perpetually red pout, Dong Wook's lips are just doing their thing, radiating warmth and stealing the ladies' hearts. And talking about the ladies, the 42-year-old is still very much single leaving us wondering whether his love life is as fascinating as his acting performances. In his talk show, he once exposed what he wanted in his ideal partner, and it was something far from the usual. Forget the standard ideal type checklist. For this heartthrob, easy communication takes the crown. Looks, that's just the bonus round. While he revealed that sharing a laugh riot with his partner is a non-negotiable, he's not just looking for a giggle buddy, he wants someone he can lean on during the storms of life. Yep, he's all about finding that rock-solid connection where his partner isn't just a shoulder to cry on, but a source of comfort when the going gets tough. During his military stint in 2009, Lee Dong-wook teamed up with actor buddy Kim Jae-won, spinning radio vibes for eight months. Having your favorite celeb on the radio means you get to listen to some juicy details about their lives you never knew. On a particular episode of his show, Dong-wook spilled the beans on his own superstition. If his hair rebels on the first try before a shoot, he gets this vibe that the day might go south. So, on those bad hair day scenes, he intentionally tries to be calmer on those days. It's not rocket science, it's just Dong Wook keeping it real, one radio show and superstition at a time. Switching gears a bit, let's check out Dong Wook's fitness journey. Turns out, he's not just a screen charmer, he's also a fitness enthusiast. Opening up to W Korea, he opened up on a transformative shift that happened some years ago. In the past, he juggled family duties and responsibilities, leaving little room for self-care. But guess what? That narrative took a U-turn. Now, it's all about him. Dong Wook confessed, For my own sake, I've started to want to do things that I personally want to do and enjoy doing. And what's on the top of his personal enjoyment list? Working out. It's not just about breaking a sweat. It's a mental escape. Like with fishing, I can spend two to three hours completely on myself without thinking about anything in life, he shared. For him, it's not just about the physical gains, it's the rare satisfaction of getting back exactly what he puts into it. Lee Dong-wook's time in the scene hasn't come without trials and tribulations, but the veteran has done well enough to calm the storms that have come his way. So what's left of his fascinating career in the long run?